Have you had trouble sleeping? Then you should try Dev. If that doesn't work, play Dungeon Defenders, pick the Monk class, and learn their meditation techniques to calm you down for sleep. I'm going to try this because I can't sleep. The first technique I was shown is called Kaiden. You put out your hand and fire lasers into the hearts of your enemies. I was a little confused, but then I realized I was helping them meditate. The calmest heart rate is no heart rate at all. The second technique is called Puncture. You take your Monk staff and stab someone in the back multiple times. This is so far not helping me sleep, but I was promised by the Steam Review section that level 5 has peace, acceptance, love. But I have to first go through level 1, anger and violence. And I always trust Steam reviews. I went on to learn the third technique, familiar artists, where you enter first person mode so you're more intimate with the person you're stabbing. It also makes you realize how short you are. This is to make you even angrier and stab more. You need to get all your negative emotions out of your system before sleeping. The fourth technique, Arte, is doing a 360 mid-air while stabbing them, then screaming in celebration. Comment the reason you're sleep deprived right now. Press like like if the reason is watching YouTube, like you are right now. The fifth technique, called Aris Quinque, is actually peaceful. I can create an aura that has a calming effect on anyone who enters it. They become slow, relaxed. It's much easier to cut their throats now. No, the enemy started attacking my meditation crystal I bought off Amazon for $250. If they destroy it, I'll never get to sleep. This is the actual goal of the game. Stop the enemies attacking the crystal. This game has other classes that can place turrets and fire for them, where the monk has to personally stab each enemy. It's more intimate. Technology is doing too many of our tasks for us. Feeling the blades sink in is really good for anxiety. My enemies so far have been goblins and archers, representing being too cold to sleep and 15 dogs jumping on your bed. Now the orcs have arrived. These are your parents screaming at each other just outside your room. This one is lightning resistant, making my lasers deal less damage. I will dodge his app. Come on this time. I'll stand on top of him. It still hits me. This level is doing a great job of making me angry. And maybe I forgot about the horde of other enemies. Stop attacking my crystal. There is no return policy. I hit in a quarter and healed by drinking the blood of my enemies. Meditation is similar to being in a cult. The crystal survived and they all died. I want to finish this game quickly so I can get to bed on time. So I injected adrenaline to make me faster. This helmet makes me take more damage. How can a piece of armor make me weaker? It's drenched in sulfuric acid. I found a staff that does fire damage and now I have the sixth meditation technique called Impulso Lorem. It relaxes your nerves. Look at them enjoying their therapy. It relaxes your muscles so much they can never move again. I was worried I wouldn't get to do any of the stabbing myself now, but shock therapy doesn't work on the ones resistant to electric. Luckily, you can't be resistant to both electric and fire. I've now dealt with my violent urges and I'm ready to deal with level 2. Weird review, Todd. The last guy who tried to sleep before level 5 died in this cell. Here is the first bit of strategy I'm going to use. The enemies will spawn from these two gates. I could kill them here, but they also come out of the other two sides of the map. Walk up these stairs and towards the meditation crystal. So instead, I'll place my auras right before the crystal to catch them all. Now I can sit back and wait while I take sleeping pills, maybe just watch a car. YouTube video. 12 of them at the same time. What's it's not working. I'm not sleepy for some reason. Meditation? More like segregation. The fire from my staff makes their blue blood literally boil and crystallize. Then I collect it and turn it into energy for creating my auras. This is called charity. Forced charity. Segregation? More like liberation. Then one of them got through because 20% of the enemies are immune to lightning. This is why the monk is master difficulty. The knight uses cannonballs. There's no elemental resistance to cannonballs. We now have a new enemy. He represents sleeping after having a nap. But in game, he's known as an arsehole. He blows himself and you up. It's awful. Final wave, time to fight an ogre. Like trying to sleep on an active airstrip. The ogre has 14,000 health. I deal 60 damage. He's attacking my overpriced scam. Pay attention to me. I have over 15 subscribers. That got his attention. I bet he wants a shout out. Instead, I'll give him a sh- I can't think of a pun. So instead, look at this old meme about shout outs. It's funnier than any joke I'll think of. Then he hit me off the edge. I spent 10 minutes fighting this. This is definitely not helping me sleep. I just have to get to level 5. Finally, I won. Level 3, Depression. Called Mage's Quarters. A Mage's is a shape-shifting master of darkness. And so level 3, shapeshift to level 4. We're skipping level 3. Too depressing. We're only one away from level 5, so this probably isn't that bad, right, Todd? Level 4, Hell. Todd, what the fuck? I went back to the tavern, had a drink, took out my anger on this guy. I was here for a long, long time. I bought a dragon from the tavern keep, but I can't use it until I level up. I tried some experimental liquids to fix my mental 
problems. Hey, that's what we do in real life anyway. I cut down the first wave like a hairdresser in a room full of afros. I've unlocked the healing aura. Time to test it by intentionally getting stabbed. I'm actually pretty strong if I can take six axe hits to the face. Okay, that's enough. It works pretty well. This is the first actually calming technique I have. Time to bring in a dragon. It's smaller than a pigeon, but it breathes fire and can kill archers. I would definitely sleep better if I had a dragon guarding me. The boss is approaching. I've set up electric auras randomly everywhere. It's... Oh, Satan. That's that's pretty intense for level 4. It represents trying to sleep while skydiving. Moderately difficult. So I use technology. Like getting an app to meditate instead of just closing your own eyes. I went around and activated the conveniently placed lightning gun. They shot him and I destroyed him. His body is planking with just his feet and head. That's really impressive core strength. Especially for a dead thing. I have stolen his horns and now wear them. They reduce my health, which makes sense. But they increase my speed running, so it's worth it. Onward to level 5. Peace. Acceptance. Love. I bought two crystals for extra calmness. Ah, look at this wondrous level. Seems kind of cramped and lonely. And the enemies are still spawning. Wait a second. Todd says, level 5. Peace. Acceptance. Love. Wait, no, that's level 8. Level 5 is pestilence. Damn it! Wait, have I gone through the five stages of grief? Grieving about lack of sleep? No, I haven't. I never even went through denial. Wait, did I just? Two auras cannot touch. It would be like charging your phone wirelessly and with a cord at the same time. I have to just beat two more levels to finally be free to rest. And also upgrade my weapons through the power of investing. My weapon now does 20 more times damage. The key principle to investing is in my course. Max level lets me rename my axe. Now I am ready. I'm starting to think adding a second crystal was a bad idea. Level 7. War. Inside the castle armory, I can read a book before bedtime. They have the Saw movie transcript and edible pages of caffeine. I took the caffeine so I could use my energy faster to get tired quicker. Then I unlocked the fourth aura. The eighth meditation technique called Brevis Hominibus Inferma. Enemies within this have reduced attack damage and temporarily lose any elemental enhancement. My lightning can kill them. Look at this lightning immune archer. What, why is he facing backwards? Come on, come on. He dies. I think I can just completely be AFK now. Let the game play itself. Yep, I win. Last wave and there's an ogre. I killed it with no mercy. Finally, outside. Level 8. Peace, acceptance, love. There are cherry blossom trees. A pond to play in. Waterfall with a view. I think I can finally relax and sleep. Can kangaroos walk without jumping? Cows don't go windows. moo, they go I Why is it my Okay, I'm up. It looks like my mind is not quelled. I haven't learned enough meditation to relax myself. That must be because I've been playing this game on easy mode. I haven't gone through the tough times to exhaust me. I have to make life harder so it's more fulfilling. It's time for insane difficulty. I have a time limit for placing my auras. Also, the casting time is so much slower. I can barely get everything placed in time. The goblins arrived and they're so fast they walk right through the shock therapy. Dad and my second crystal, they're just walking through my traps with 10 times more health. Insane? More like pain. I stabbed them all peacefully. Only one more orc left to die. Damn it, I lost for the first time. I'm trying again, but this time putting all my auras around the crystal itself. I confirm it was a mistake to buy two, but I beat the first wave with my new technique. The next wave had wyverns. I lost. I have an even better idea. Nightmare difficulty. But on the first level, only a couple of goblins and they're about as hard as an ogre. Oh, a nightmare ogre has spawned on round one. A spider is chasing me down. I died. I lost. Kills, one. Uh, that's pretty good. I can't beat the hard difficulties, but easy is boringly easy. What should I do? Do. I know! I'll skip to the bonus DLC levels that are after the end of the main game. Staying on easy difficulty, but I'm level 14 and the recommended is 100. Also, I made another purchase. Two more purchases, actually. Okay, to be honest, this video is for a tax deduction. I've spent a thousand on these so far. I need this. Maybe with the savings, I'll activate windows. No, I won't. Misty My Forest, full of suspicious mushrooms and suspicious caves. That's probably a bunny rabbit, which I have a phobia of. There are only four doors enemies come from, so the first wave was quite easy. Second wave has wyverns, ogres, and spiders. I'll need to pet the shroomite for this one. Don't ask. The spiders can just go anywhere on the map, avoiding my auras. But luckily, these murderous spiders focus on murdering me, not my expensive crystals. I have a hot meditation tip for you. Dying is not good for relaxation. But my fifth aura probably is Meditation Technique 9. Bellum, the Enrage Aura. All enemies inside become hostile to each other. Here you can see a spider attacking an ogre. The spider believes in flat earth, while the ogre believes that steak should be well done. The ogres aren't even that tough. It's the spiders killing me. How can you be more relaxed than being trapped in spiderweb unable to move? 
The ogres are attacking different crystals. For $250, you'd think they'd have a defensive Glock attached. Final wave, boss wave. I have to battle two at once, but another is approaching. All four crystals are under attack. I died. It's over. Screw you, Todd. I can't sleep until I'd beaten this map. Proven myself. This time, I'm using Enrage Aura only. The enemies would just attack each other for me. I can sit back and watch self-genocide. Now, I'm not an expert in genocide, but they seem to be doing it wrong. They're still attacking my crystals. The wiki says, an Enrage Aura can see almost useless and it doesn't work on ogres i'm starting to think meditation sucks i've hired a mini monk to fly by my side and tell me i'm doing a good job he makes auras larger here's the joke i don't feel like making i'm setting on my auras close to the crystals and not using rage at all i killed things got a giant purple spear got less creative with my naming and i struggled to jump upwards i have a new sword i'm using the pro mode of investing only available in my course i also got even less creative with my naming but it's accurate damn i'm back to the final wave I have to repair my auras quickly, and the boss is old age. Fight against the decay of your spine, your grandchildren not wanting to see you, not understanding technology. No, it's a spider queen. That could be a good video game boss though. You, you may be a spider, a kill with my axe. Use, use the, the divider, divider and not pay my tax. My mental state is higher, I'm here to relax. That's it, I, I don't have another line. I win. It's all so clear. My problem has been using lame quartz crystals. All along, I need an amethyst healing crystal with the power of purple. I needed a $1,600 crystal. Finally, I can sleep. And you probably should too.